Hi, this is Jackie, and I'm with Ask a Tech Teacher. I'm your guide through these 32 lessons in the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum for first grade. We're in lesson 14. This is about shapes around the world. Now, students have probably, maybe, discussed shapes in their classroom. They definitely discuss them in, as kindergartners. So this lesson can be a formative assessment or review of the knowledge and just using technology to reinforce their, their learning. So we're going to discuss how, how do shapes relate to the real world. Shapes are everywhere in the environment. So you're going to ask students to bring up a picture or take a picture of their classroom and then annotate it to draw, to draw the shapes that they see on it. Come, some of the words they might not know, most of these are pretty normal. They're probably familiar with them. But legend, maybe not. Midpoint, template, make sure that they're familiar with those. OK, so warm up with keyboarding, always a good way to warm up so you can get figured out what you're doing next in class, especially if you have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back classes. This gives you a couple minutes to get yourself organized. So shapes in the classroom, you, you can have, start this by just having them look around the classroom and see what, what shapes do you see. These examples give some ideas of what to look for and then get the students to think about it. Then have them take a picture of the classroom with their iPads if you're using iPads. If you're not using an iPad, you can use another picture that you can make available to them. The student workbooks, if you're using those, have an example here that you can use, or even this one. So they can look at these and say, OK, there's a circle, there's a square, there's a rectangle. So they can use these pictures, and, and using their annotation tool, like is done up here, just draw the shape and then label it. Or if they took their own, they'd do the same thing. They'd take the picture. It would show up probably in their camera roll, because you probably won't take pictures unless they're using iPads. And they can do it other ways, but it gets a lot more complicated in first grade. But iPads, it's really simple. So they go to the camera roll. They bring that picture into whatever your drawing program is that you're using, and then annotate it. Add the shapes that they see and the words. And be real clever. Here's kind of a triangle you could make out of that one if they wanted. So have them be clever about finding the shapes. Tell them the shapes you want them to find, and then have them go search them out. OK, that is um, how you work with this lesson. And then when they're done, save that. Save, share, publish, however you do it. Print if that's what you do in your classroom. and. Um, make sure you save a copy in the digital portfolio for the student because you'll want it for the year-end slideshow that you share with parents showing the things students have done. You also might put it in a digital um, gallery that you share with parents on, on whatever device you use, whatever program you use that communicates with parents. Okay, so template. Here's a template of shapes and then colors that the shapes could be drawn in. So students, you, any piece of this would work. So you might have the legend here, and then have students draw the shape, triangle in green, draw um, the diamond in pink, circle in orange. So have them draw them in the color noted over here. Or you can have all the shapes here and have them color in. The circle is orange, the triangle is green, and color it in with your annotation tool. Now, hopefully, if you're using the, the student workbooks, then they have it right here. If not, make, make a copy of this and make it available so they can download it into their drawing program, and then do it that way. And then they'll save it to their digital portfolio, and they'll um, make it, share it out in whatever way you normally do in your classroom. The third one is if you're hitting this lesson around the holidays, it's really fun to use shapes to create holiday pictures. Diamond for a tree, boxes, squares, oblongs for snowmen, circles, and, and um, ovals for snowmen or wreaths, whatever, whatever they can make really out of the shapes and make that and then decorate it with stamps and stickers with festive ways of writing their name and text. So they're practicing pre-keyboarding, drawing skills, shapes. They're getting a lot of skills practiced in this. Then 
print, publish, share, whatever you do in your classroom. And um, it's fun to print these because they're cards for family. So if you can print them or make it easy for students to share them with their family and friends. Here's some ideas on how to draw some of those shapes. They might not know how to draw the triangle for the tree or the diamond for a, um, a gift, kind of slanted gift, or the, the top of a tree. They might not know how to draw those. So you, these are hints for them. Um, it's in their student workbook, too, if you're using those. And that's. This will take most of the class because they'll get excited about drawing, making this card, this project for parents and family. And it does involve not only drawing, but stamps and stickers and writing, pre-word processing. So it involves a lot of steps. So they want to not feel too rushed, but definitely have a time limit so that they understand how to work within a time frame. Then when they're done, their exit ticket have the student verify that they saved this correctly into their digital portfolio. Always a good idea. Always a good exit ticket is to have a, a neighbor verify that the project was saved correctly. I think that's it. All right, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I always check the discussion board to see if you have anything that you're having problems with. A good idea is to review the lesson the week ahead of time before you get to it in the classroom. And I, I'll definitely get to you in a day. So if you have if Saturday, you're reviewing it, and you find out that I just don't get this, and post me a question, and I'll probably get to it Sunday for you, and then you're ready to go Monday. All right, guys, look forward to seeing you in a week. Bye.